Were you told you were shy? Do you identify as shy? Do you hate that word now? Do you just wish you could get over it and get on with your life? Welcome to Shining Beyond Shy, empowering you to create a greater life than you ever thought was possible. With your Shining Beyond Shy host, Fiona Cups. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Shining Beyond Shy with your host, Fiona Cups. So this week's episode, I'm calling, what do you think, Fiona? <laughs> I'm calling it, what do you think, but the, it, it came up because um, I'm in a new business venture and my business partner keeps on asking me, what do you think, Fiona? Hey, what do you think, Fiona? What do you think, Fiona? And I realized that it put me into a bit of a tiz. That's a technical term, a tiz. And I was wondering, so what is that? Why does somebody asking me, and not just once, but several times, why does someone asking me, what do you think, Fiona, put me into a tiz? And I was thinking about the context. So it's a new business venture. And for, for my business partner, it's an existing business for her that she knows all about. And I'm coming in with a specific role, but also to help her run the business. And so I need to understand the business. And at the moment, I'm really new to it. And I realized that my point of view was, well, it doesn't matter what I know, because you know more. <laughs> There's a lot of energy on that. So if this is already bringing up stuff for any of you, all that energy that hearing me talk about this brings up in your worlds, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pop, all nine, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. And that's the access consciousness clearing statement. And what it will do is it will release the stuff that's keeping you stuck around this point of view. And I realized when I looked at it that I've had this all my life. It's like people, my teachers at school would be like, hey, what do you think, Fiona? And I always thought it was because I was shy that I wasn't able to voice what I knew. And it may be that there were circumstances where I felt unsure about saying things that felt unsafe. But there's something here around being directly, hey, what do you know? And my business partner doesn't do it in an aggressive way. I mean, I've had it done in an aggressive way. It's not that. But there's something about it. It, it makes me go to some kind of blank. So if it makes you go to a blank, truth, will you destroy and uncreate that response? Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs and beyonds. And I realized that when I became an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator, or even before that, when I found out about Access Consciousness, one of the things that I loved, it's, it, well, it's empowering you to know what you know. That's the tagline of Access Consciousness. Um, but as a facilitator, we're always told, look, if you don't know the answer to something, just tell people. There's no shame in not knowing the answer to something. And um, and I love that when I went to facilitate the the first sort of well the first introductory classes that I did, so the Access Consciousness Bars class, I loved that if there was something I didn't know the answer to, it was totally permissible to say, "Hey, I actually don't know the answer to that. Do you know what? At lunchtime, I'll see if I can find out for you, and I'll let you know in the afternoon. And then if I couldn't get hold of anybody at lunchtime, well, look, you know what?" I'll, I'll just message them and I'll let you know as soon as I know. And I would make it happen. I would make sure that I found somebody who could answer them. But it gave me a freedom in facilitating that, that maybe I hadn't had before. And there can be this thing, particularly when you're teaching, that you need to have the answers. You need to know the answers. And the thing I love about Access Consciousness and Shining Beyond Shy comes out of Access Consciousness is that it's about empowering you to know what you know. But there's nothing wrong with not knowing, particularly facts. And when we're talking about facts here, and I think my point of view with my business partner has been 
but actually you're the one who knows more about this at the moment and there's interesting because there's another lady who came on at the same time as me or a little bit later than me but is in a similar position she's a great business person but she knows this business less well than the other lady I mean everybody knows it less well than the other lady but she actually said hey Sarah I, I think in this case you're the one who knows more here. I'm happy for you to go with what you know. And I realized, oh my God, that's what I should have been saying. It's like somehow it put me into a panic. Whereas really all I needed to say was, look, at the moment, you're the one who knows more about this. Please go with what you know. I'm very happy that you asked me, but please go with what you know. And I am learning. I will have things to say. It's just that at the moment, um, I'm still learning and assimilating. So that's what I realized for me. And I'm so grateful to the other lady for being able to just voice it. And so for her, it obviously wasn't such a charged thing. And I was like, so why is that charged for me? And yeah, as I said, all my life, I've had this thing of, hey, what do you know, Fiona? Just that sort of aggressive, which my business partner wasn't actually, but that quite, um, hey, in, in school, what do you know? Why aren't you speaking up? And um, I remember somebody even saying to me, oh, that's how you get the best marks because you hear from all of us what we know, but you aren't willing to share what you know. And that kind of really upset me because it didn't feel like it was coming from that space. And this is kind of a bit of an expl exploration as I speak because I'm not exactly sure why it's so charged for me, but I do know that it kind of got caught up with shyness. And it's like my my kind of, uh, my response in my head was, well, if, you know what, I'm shy, I, I can't. That was a response in my head, but that actually wasn't what was going on. And I think part of it is that sometimes genuinely, it's better, someone else knows more about it, let's follow their knowing. Um, so what else is possible here? What else can I share here? What else can I personally learn from this that can contribute to you? So here's me in action using the tools. So anything that doesn't allow me to perceive that, I destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, plot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povads and beyond. So, my sense is it's something about the force that maybe yeah so my body's saying yes to this maybe my dad at some point was forceful with me about making me do something that I didn't feel was me yeah it's something to do with that and when someone tries to force us to do something that isn't us it can be really painful and horrible and it can cause that to shut down so this is real time facilitation of me. So whatever it was that my dad did that created that shutdown in me, forcing me to say I knew something that wasn't natural for me or do something that wasn't natural for me, that I now let go of it, destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, bottom box, all known shorts, boys, poets and beyonds. And I'm gonna ask for all of you, is there something that you were forced to do that wasn't natural for you, that you didn't want to do? You weren't able to voice it like my new business friend. You weren't able just to say, hey, that isn't my area. <laughs> Imagine me five years old, hey dad, that's not my area but there's no reason why I couldn't have done that now. So whatever it was that you were forced to do that wasn't natural to you and you didn't feel you could say, hey, that's not natural to me, all that stuff from the past, will you now destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, poverts and beyonds. And so in Access Consciousness, the tagline of Access Consciousness is empowering you to know what you know. So this kind of force with me kind of shut down that knowing of what I actually know. And that's my sense with my business partner when she was asking me things that I felt it was too soon for, or, and you know, that may or may not be true. Um, it shut me down because of my past. So, What else do we know that we've decided we don't know 
that if we allowed ourselves to know it would change everything. All of that really destroying uncreated, right and wrong, good and bad, bottom and pop, all nine shirts, boys, perverts and beyonds. And it's really interesting because you don't actually have to know facts. So in this new situation of a new business that I don't know many quote unquote facts about, I am really more than capable. Well, it's like I can follow the energy. So sometimes when it's not about facts, it's like my business partner will say to me, hey, what do you get here? And I'll be able to see, oh, the option A is more expensive than option B without having an understanding of why that is, just following the energy and knowing that option A is lighter. But that comes from a trusting of me when, and I don't have to have been in the business for five or 10 years or 20 years, whatever that is, in order to be able to say that and do that. But we tend to believe that we need to have the experience to be able to, have the knowing what if we just know what if it can be as simple as a direct engagement with the energy so in that case and we're talking about this with this new business it's like there's one person who knows the business two new people who don't know the business how can we use that to our advantage we don't have all the or the book learning of how this business works. We don't have the experience of that. We can just have a direct engagement with the energy as it presents itself when we're willing to have that without making ourselves wrong. <laughs> so everything that brings up, let's destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pop and pop, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs and beyonds. Yeah, so in a way we're coming to, as often is the case, trusting us. So in our case, we're talking about shyness. So knowing that the shyness is just a, a, a reason and justification for why we can't do something. Actually, if we were to trust us, we would know stuff that there's no reason we could know. And I remember being at school and getting the answer to something. And my teacher saying to me, how did you know that? And it put me into a tiz. Yeah, here we go. It put me into a tiz because I couldn't explain how I knew it. And why was that? Because I just knew it. So I'm going to ask all of you, have you ever had that situation where you've just known something and the grown up has told you, no, it's not possible that you know that. And what that does is it makes you doubt you and your direct engagement with the energy and your ability to just know. So if that occurred for you, truth, will you destroy and uncreate that and everything you decided about you? I don't know. I can't know. I can't just know. All of that stuff, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pop and pop, all nine shorts, boys, perverts and beyonds. And here's the thing. Our lives work way better when we function from energetic engagement, when we function from the energy, when we don't try and figure things out. So what if we could all start to function more from the energy and less from the figuring out? Anything that doesn't allow that, let's destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys, poverts and beyonds. Okay, I think that's all for today. And today you saw me in action, as I often am with myself, facilitating myself, not knowing <laughs> where we were going. and happy with where we got to. So thank you very much. If you know people who can benefit from this episode, please send it to them. Please share it with them. Please like the podcast if you like it. And yeah, what if everyone who feels shy could have access to this information? Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm so grateful for you. It would be great if you could subscribe. Great if you could leave a review wherever you're listening. And if you'd like some quick, simple tips to overcome shyness wherever you are, please go to my website, fionacuts.com, where you can download my free product, Five Steps to Overcoming Shyness Wherever You Are. Thank you again and see you next time.